So let's say you're a patient with uh, minus four power and uh, these are your uh, scan reports. So if you can see the keratoconus screening is normal, that means patient is a good candidate for laser refractive surgery. And if you see the thickness is 544 and 537 in both the eyes. So ideally for every one diopter, we remove 15 microns. So if you're four diopters, we remove 60 microns. So still after removing 60 microns, you have 484 tissue remaining, but 400 is the magic number. So it falls way above the safety zone. All right. Now, how do you decide which procedure is best for you? Now, there are three different types of procedures. We have none this, we have the epicontura, then we have the LASIK contour, and then we have the SMILE. So the most important factor in this is the recovery period. So in epicontura, the recovery period is at least seven to 10 days. But if you're going for a LASIK contour or SMILE, the recovery is only one to two days. So that means within day one or day two, you can actually resume your normal activities. So based on this, in case you're eligible for all the procedures, in case you have a shorter recovery time, you have to travel, you have to go somewhere, or you can't you can't take too many leaves from your work, then this two procedures would be a good procedure for you. And another main advantage of a contra LASIK and smile, it has a wow effect. So wow effect means basically from day one itself, the patient will be able to see clearly. The next day morning when the patient wakes up, he's able to see clearly. So this is a good procedure for you in case your time period is short. In case you have more time, then you can offer an epicontra procedure.